In our last video, we saw how to place MTM target and MTM stop loss. In this video, we'll see what is market protection orders and how it works. Let's get into it. What is market protection orders? Market protection orders, as its name suggests, it is protecting from a huge market orders which is happening nowadays in a free trade where 2 rupees options may go to 100 rupees or 120 rupees or 200 in fraction of second and coming back to the same price in next second itself. In that case, when you place a market order, instantly that will be buying at a higher end like 100 rupees or 200 rupees and comes back to a same place to the 2 rupees range. To overcome this, we have introduced a market protection order where imagine the LTP is at 100 rupees and you have a market protection of 10% means 10% 10 of 100 rupees is 10 rupees. So the system would be placing a limit order at 110 means it will not buy anything above 110. It would be buying below 110 itself. So when market order is placed, it would be buying at any order which has been open. When you place a market protection, it will buy only within that limit. So it is a limit order kind of thing. So it will place a 110 rupees limit order and it would be buying in a market which is trading below 110. So typically it would be buying between 100 to 101 to or 99 between that. So here the market protection person can be choose by you. You can decide whether you want to have 10% or 5% or 1% and it will send a limit order itself, not the market order. Okay. Now we'll see how we are placing market protection orders in one click. For that, open one click window. Here you have an order type. There by default, it will be having a market order. You have to change for market protection and you have to select whichever percentage you wanted. For making example simpler, we will make 10% and we will take a strike which is trading near 100 for example. Okay, for that to know which strike is trading at what price, we will open. So 44500 is trading near 200, we will open 44500 call. Okay, now if I place a buy button, it will place on a limit order, not on a market order. So if you go to our order book and see, it is placed on a limit order and price is 107. Here I have to tell one thing. What is different between order book and trade book is very important. The difference between order book and trade book is in order book always, not only in one click. If you go to a broker terminal or any other terminal, order book is a ledger where you will be getting all your orders like a failed order or a cancelled order or a rejected order. Whatever may be, it will be in an order book first and once it is executed, it will go to a trade book. So if you place a limit order, the market is trading at 100 and if you place a limit order for 88 it will be in order book it will not be in a trade book so once it executed at 88 it will come to a trade book so once you make a order for 110 and the market is trading at 100 it will execute near 101 or 102 everything is going well so order book will show 110 as a limit price and the trade book will show 102 as a executed price here Few brokers are giving a executed price in order book itself in a API response and few brokers are giving a order placed order price as a API response on order book. So here in trade smart, this is a executed price, not a order placed price. Okay. So we placed order 108 plus 10 percent and it has executed at 107.30. Okay, I'll give you on one example where it plays, where a broker gives a response of order placed price. Okay, for that we'll take upstock as an example, where upstock will be using a order price for an response on an order book, not the executed price. Okay, for that we'll click upstocks and open one click window. Now upstocks broker is selected. Here we'll go to market order. And we will take 44,400, okay, which is trading near 117. Now, if I place an order, it will take 117 plus 10% and send the order. So, I am placing order. 
if you check order book it has sent a price for 131 as a limit order okay and if you go to an trade book here you will come to know what is the exact executed price executed price is 118 but the limit order sent is 131 so this is what i was explaining here one more thing if you have to know whether your broker is giving an order price or a executed price on order book you can just check any market orders when there is a executed price in an order book always market order will have a price when there is an order price on an order book the market orders always will be on a zero okay now i'll just click close all button so so that you will come to know how the market protection order will be closing when you click close all position okay so the order type is in market protection and 10 percent is there and if i click a close all button now okay it would have been sending a market order so we'll go to order book and check can you see it is sending a market order not the limit order okay now if you feel always you wanted to have a market protection only as your order type you can just do that from a favorite selection like you can open a favorite settings here and here you have an order type there you have to select market protection and you can select whichever percentage you wanted and save it now every time whenever i open a one click by default my order type would be in market protection only can you see okay so that you will not be losing anything if you are forgetting to change your order type also one thing you have to remember when you are using market protection orders this will work only for buy and sell buttons or if you are using buy and sell from a keyboard if you are closing your order from stop loss or a target or mtm stop loss or mtm target or a close all position or action button whichever may be the order would be sent on a market order only not on a market protection order okay if you wanted to close your order from market protection order you have to sell your position from sell button or from your keyboard itself you cannot close all position or click action button to close all position and it will trigger only a market order not a market protection order in this video we saw everything about market protection orders in our next video we will be seeing how to use options list thank you for watching stay tuned for more updated videos in our channel keep learning and earning